hello and welcome on today's uh, little game is between uh, our favorite bacon against our best metafrost so we are sure to either see some fried frost or some frozen bacon and i'm very interested in how that's gonna look because we have 15 piece time and 5k i think this is season clash rules i don't know i don't know about the golden grid rule this is the end tournament, by the way, and I'm Imperator Ricardo. Not call of it, just because everybody just asked that, or thinks that I'm call of it, which I clearly am not. And we are pausing. So we are back without pausing. So we have the Dutch players. As you can see, it's, it's 15 piece time, so people are gonna go for musket deals, of course. This is the quick play settings without a neutral control rule. Oh, better said, with the no neut neutral control rule. Bacon already has a second 17 spell, but he's lagging a bit behind or having a bit slower for the town hall, which I think is okay. There are few seconds he can work out, work over with additional musketeers. I think. As as Metafrost isn't even starting to build a second barrack. However, this is. Should still be interesting because Metafrost might actually be going for a great diplomatic center, which again might might give him the cutting edge in fodder later on. Because Bacon's Academy is rather late. Metafrost is building two storehouses, or better said three storehouses with one town hall. Which means that I think that, that he will have a massive economy in wood, which means that he will make Stables, a lot of them. That might be actually a quite good idea because in this setting you can actually afford to make dragoons that have really a punching power. Of course, you have that possibility in all other modes, but in this mode it's gonna be especially effective. And there's the first saber for Metaphor. Looking good so far, but Metafrost has one gold mine not built. Maybe he, he just hasn't found, found it now. He did find it and it's just been occupied. So that's at least one thing for him. And the way that Bacon doesn't have uh, a stable yet, I think he might actually be going for a quick third barracks. He upgraded his gold mines, even though he's letting a few peasants stand outside of a gold mine now without having anything to do. Wasting a little bit of production time, which I think isn't too bad. It's just five peasants, and uh, the time they have to wait isn't all too long. Plus, if they wait there, they are faster available to go into the mine, so they can produce gold faster. One moment please, I have to announce the stream. That's why I'm a little bit quiet right now. Alright. I announced it. And I think it's a good time to once more announce, because I'm sure that not everybody of you is instantly just gonna be there. I am Imperator Ricardo, I'm not Call of It. I'm not British, I'm Roman.
so you can cross every Rubicon you want, but it's not cut off with your hearing. I'm sorry. Bacon is building his first stable now, but considering the amount of gold he is collecting, and considering he, he got his uh, wood upgrade, he might be trying to sell wood to get gold to make a third barracks. Which would be an interesting tactic because he might be actually... He is kind of neglecting his food economy. Though... I'm not sure. He's building a second stable, so that might actually be indeed for stables. Or a diplomatic center later on, because you can also sell wood to get a diplomatic center. That's quite a, quite a viable trade. I think as far as I know, wood is a, a better trade good than food in the early game. Changing, changing with the 18th century, when your, your food economy gets a massive boost with the 18th century food upgrade. So you can collect my food, more food than wood. But in most cases, food is just superior to everything because it's easier to protect. It's mostly near your barracks. Your peasants are protected by these barracks and your army that's nearby. So there's almost... Basically, if, if you lose your food economy, you are basically already dead. Because your army is dead, your peasants are dead. There's nothing that can save you anymore. Bacon is, has surpassed the 10,000 gold, which means that his third barracks is gonna arrive very soon. But none... Oh, actually... Well, I must be blind, because they both already have their diplomatic center and I didn't see it. Hmm. Looks like Bacon just traded something for stone, but he needs a little bit more stone and he just did that. Now he's building his third barracks. Which means that in the S indeed he's going for more more barrack units, which is the same thing I would do to be honest. But uh, we'll see how that works out, because Metafrost also has only... No, he has three. But he has a lack of infantry, which means that his his uh, main army in the main engagement will perform a little bit worse. He might be able to get a little bit of a head start with his dragoons, because his dragoons are more numerous. But considering this number is far lower than the musket is of course. The goons have like three times the production time of a Dutch musket here. Yes, exactly three times. Dutch musket is five seconds and a normal dragoon without any upgrade is fifteen. So he's gonna struggle behind. He has to somehow get around the army of, of bacon or he, or he uses cannons and walls, but I think that's a little bit risky. It's possible though. It's not like that's absolutely a no-go. And apparently Bacon is building a wall, but so is Metafrost, but Bacon's wall is a little bit impractical. Could use this uh, this valley to uh, use as a border for the wall, but instead he's he's building a wall behind a hill, which is not exactly what the hill is for, because you can reach it less effectively. You'll need longer to get there, basically, which is time that the enemy can use to get there instead. Looks like Bacon is upgrading his mines nice and all, but uh, Metafrost had short, had a population limit shortages for a moment. For a longer moment, apparently. That's a little bit of a, of a kickback, but uh, it's not too much that it's critical. It maybe was for like half a minute or so. That still was like 12 musketeers or so, and truly. One or two dozen of mercenary round trees and a few dragoons, but uh, nothing major as I said. He can still pull back up, I think. Metafrost has his artillery depots. He's producing cannons, though he has none right now. Bacon has one artillery depot too, and he has two cannons already. 
because he researched some of the faster building upgrades and one cheaper upgrade. So I think the cheap, the cheap artillery upgrade in this case is not as important as the building speed upgrade. Simply because of the fact you can make more cannons in the time and the resources, your economy should be fairly able to um, support the building of the cannons when you actually plan to use them. Otherwise, you are on, you are on the very wrong course. If you build cannons with an economy that can't even support them. That's just bad. There's a second artillery depot. I don't know for how long that's been there, but uh, now it's there. How vacant it is. It looks like Metafrost is gonna try and use a camping strategy because he has this nice hill and the opening in the wall, which is way far away from the hill, which is not as good. However, it might be a better plan than what Bacon is trying to do. He is getting shelled and lost the Dragoon and the Round here and two Musketeers. Of course, as of right now, this doesn't mean anything, but it still losses, and losses are not really nice. I don't know what Meta Frost is trying to do or what, what Bacon is trying to do. I think he's trying to shell the cannons of Meta Frost, which are moving quite a bit forward. So I don't think it's not really helpful to shoot at cannons with your cannons, with your own cannons, if you don't have the accuracy upgrade, because most of the shots will miss anyway. You need the accuracy upgrades to hit the cannons or ships if you want to make a naval battle. Those ships are buggy anyway. With their 100% accuracy, accuracy cannons. Now Bacon is, tr is trying to shell the army of Metafrost, having quite a bit of success. I think that Bacon should only move up his dragoons to maybe shoot uh, or distract the cannon of the cannons of Metafrost. Perhaps Bacon should go for howitzers as well, just to have something that can potentially damage the cannons of Metafrost. If they hit this, and Metafrost is going for neutral control, looks like it's allowed when the pe when the peace time is over. Yeah, quite a smart move, but I from that, Bacon doesn't seem to care about it at all, which um, might be bad for him. He's sending around some grenadiers, which are going to shot to get shot very easily, without any support that they don't have. Now Bacon has some population issues, building some houses already though. And it does appear like Bacon's economy is a fair bit stronger than Metaphor, but I might just uh, misjudge this one. A great back and forth, Metaphor wasting an entire barrage of cannons, whilst Bacon is shooting the Palisade wall. So now he's hitting the army with a bit less success than Metaphor, but it's still shotting the army which is indeed helpful. And Metafrost is moving some cannons dangerously close, but Bacon doesn't, doesn't notice this. Oh, Metafrost captures some Bacon's cannons with the orange shear. Bacon's uh, management of artillery clearly starts to lag at this point, and now Me Metafrost is surrendering some cannons to Bacon instead. I think they are close to the orange shears and the they just refused to, refuse to get captured. That's a problem that I often see with marketplaces and other buildings. You can have as many, as many of your own soldiers near them, and uh, no of, none of your own there, and they still won't get captured. But, eventually, if that only happens to me, the enemy always captures my stuff.
mistaken, is in the 18th century he got his second food upgrade. So his economy is gonna be even more mega buff right now. His economy is gonna, more, gonna be more meta buff. <laughs> I'm funny today. It appears like there's some dragoons attacking back in space now. Oh, and there is the big battle that's been anticipated for so long. It doesn't look good for Bacon in the beginning already, but he has a nice formation of musketeers nearby. Oh, that's not a formation, it's just a bunch of musketeers. But they are very spread out. Bacon is gonna, going to win the left flank, but the right flank is still indecisive. Oh, but with this cannon, with these with these cannon shots, there's almost no way that they can lose in this engagement. Especially with the reinforcements coming in, so that's already... Oh, actually, is it? Bacon is moving his musketeers into the wrong direction. No, that's not possible to be one for Metafrost here. Even with Bacon's somewhat lacking army management there. He still managed to win and that's at least something. While it's matter for Dragoons are still trying to raid Bacon without any success that is. There we go, the peasants, the, the great peasant charge. Oh, better frost. Not really any any chance there. And that's a uh, game over. I don't, I think the best out of three. I think. And uh, yeah. I don't know the rules for the next battle, but let's see how that works and what that is. So uh, yeah, we'll see.
And we are back. This time with zero piece time and one thousand resources. And Spain. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's no Aztecs or Mayans here, so Spain will not be as successful as usual. Or insert any other native native population. They are all not here. Only Spain and Spain, and that's gonna be interesting. And I bet the stats are gonna be very, very similar. Apart from the bacon who has his barracks faster than Metafrost, whereas Metafrost has some faster mines. Well, sort of. Bacon also mines uh, fairly fast. And of course, we are going for the uh, costly pikemen. Or uh, I don't know how to spell that, I don't speak Spanish. It appears like Bacon has sent out some peasant scouts. Uh, a very questionable decision in my opinion. And somehow he manages to send out one pikeman guard without having too much issues to connect everything else. And Meta is going for the early neutral control. Interesting, does he even have all of his own mines here? Uh, no, he doesn't. I see one gold mine on Meta for territory that is not in his control yet. So I think uh, his neutral control is a very strange way to progress here. At least this early. He could have gotten an, a faster gold mine and already collected a bunch of gold, but uh, that wasn't in his plan apparently. And Bacon has his second town hall built up and ready and working. Metafrost has his academy, so he might go for a uh, diplomatic center, I think. But this early, I don't know. I think that Bacon's gonna go for the for the academy. That was not what I wanted to say. I thought he would have been going for the second barracks. However, since Metaverse only has one town hall, he's gonna have a severe economical disadvantage against Bacon here. Unless these little pike crews that are just cruising around are gonna do some damage. And someone's cooking really nice food outside. Now Bacon is also going for some new control. I wonder if that's gonna stay unnoticed. Apparently not from back inside because he's sending out a little bit of a, of a, of a raid detachment against Metaphor's gold mine. And Metaphor's is building a systematic center, so he did in fact have this plan. Oh, uh, what about Bacon? I don't know. He spent all of his gold somewhere. For a diplomatic center, he... he oh, it's interesting. Though I would say that... Oh, he, Metaphor's is building a siege Cossacks. That wasn't what I what I expected. I rather expected a bunch of infantrymen and some archers, to be honest. But Bacon is also going for siege Cossacks. Interesting. 
Well, none of the pipes have any upgrades yet, so I think that's still a, a valid path to apart from Metafrost Spike. These are a little bit upgraded by now. And Bacon blew up the gold mine of Metafrost that he captured before it was recaptured. And I think now we are going to dive into the Eternal Siege Dance. Bacon almost intercepting them. Bacon is killing the vision of Matt of Rost, actually a smart idea I think, so he cannot really see where his teach, teach Cossacks are coming from, or where they are at the moment. But without any real pike upgrades, his mines are going to be taken very easily. But Metafrost decided to just run away, run away or round it. And Metafrost is starting at the first big attack on the gold mine. I think that's a 15 formation. He's baiting him around, around the gold mine. The peasants are trying to escape, but they are taking all the all the pikes with them. But fortunately for them, since pikes are slower than peasants, or peasants are, are faster than almost every land unit, apart from the Scottish, Scottish sword landsmen, they survived. And Bacon is not gonna blow up this gold mine. He's letting it get captured. I uh, think he wanted to blow it up, but he forgot about it. No matter for us building some archers and infantrymen, and I think that we are going to see the one thing that I cannot really learn for myself. Just this has a diplomatic center. Bacon is streaming some infantrymen into Metafrost infantry formation. A very big waste of infantrymen here. Maybe this little pike formation will do something to get a bit of archer support. And they are crushing the infantry because Metafrost sort of didn't even let them fight. Fortunately for Bacon, since he still has the, the, the uh, town hall advantage, because Metaphor still only has one, and I don't think that's gonna change. If he manages to keep up the pace right now, he's just gonna roll, roll over, roll all over Metafrost with superior upgrades and superior pipemen, therefore. Maybe even more pipemen at a stable, perhaps? Things is. Things are. Uh, it doesn't look good for Metaphors at all right now, but the things can still change. One nicely placed raid, and uh, things might look very, very much nicer. However, for that to to happen, he must first get that far. But, but Bacon doesn't seem to be too wary of that raid that's coming in on the right side. He seems to be more busy with the one on the left side. One of Bacon's gold mines got destroyed. His entire raiding gang as well though, and now he noticed it, noticed the raid from Metaphor. And he's gonna surrender his upgraded mine. He could have just used his peasants to battle as well, I think. But uh, maybe that wouldn't have been worth it. But he's just losing gold income. And I think that losing a little bit of food income is gonna be more worth it, or would be more worth it, but he decides not to take that approach.
for some reason. And now he's walking his men into the raid. They are still winning, but uh, are completely useless, basically. Now there is a battle at Metaphor Space, which is going to repel. He has the Fair Pike advantage and the Home advantage at that, but he lost the Gold Mine. And looks like he's going to lose an Iron Mine as well. I don't know if he destroyed much more. Metaphor still hasn't taken this one Gold Mine that's next to his base. All of Metaphor's great, great attempts have sort of failed. I don't think that's enough to uh, deal the necessary amount of damage so that uh, they can escape momentum now. He might be able to soon get full pikes, full pike upgrades, and just uh, turn on the washing machine or the lawnmower if you want, and uh, you know. Give Metafrost uh, a brand new, uh, brand new shave, new hairstyle. Now uh, Metafrost is going to try the exact same thing as last time. Maybe he will have more success this time, but I don't think it doesn't look good for him right now. Bacon has uh, is on the way to full pike defense, which means that full pike attack is not too far either. But uh, he's conducting a siege raid, and Bacon is not worried of this at all. Not even as the siege are uh, riding into the peasants, trying to kill the peasants, but uh, that's a complete waste because peasants can kill siege Cossacks easily. At least the mercenary ones, the real ones from the stable, not so much. At least when upgraded. And now Metafrost is killing his own infantrymen by shooting with archers at a pike that's running away. Good job, Bacon. This pikeman is just a promotion. I'm gonna select him and see what happens to him over the course of the game. But I think that he's going to survive this one because Metafrost's army just got completely wiped. So that Python now has an easy has an easy way, easy game to just go in and make Metafrost never return, basically. It looks like our hero pike is now sitting in the mountain. Better first trying to raid ba Bacon's gold mines uh, in the neutral territory, but since Bacon's pikes are so well upgraded, they are completely failing. And the hero pike just has been assigned as a guard, apparently. Early retirement, I'd say. And Bacon is retreating, for some odd reason. Maybe wants to meet up with some additional forces. Because, uh, at least on my end, the score does not look well. Actually, for some reason, Metaphors has a higher score than Bacon. But that's probably just one, one again, one more of these stupid client bugs.
now bacon is produced in some regions and metafrost instantly gave up. Ah, that was interesting ish. I would have liked to see that last fight to be honest, but okay. It uh, works too. And this uh, means that Bacon has won this one. If there isn't another battle, I don't know how that works in the Gold League or in the Gold Grid. I thought this was the best out of three now, but I don't know for sure. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that it's over now because, uh, yeah, best out of three, I guess. So yeah, uh, thank you for the... I don't know if, it, if something continues next, but uh, thank you for being here and... Uh, well, um, have a nice day, I suppose. And uh, I'll see you next time when something goes down here. Yeah. Bye bye.